Hey guys, this is my third week, my month at Meadowood, and I'm obviously at the farm as you can see. With some little goat friends and some little sheep friends. Um, the farm itself is actually on a shared property with a Montessori school, and the Montessori has this really fantastic animal husbandry program. And all of these guys were, um, they were rescued from a petting zoo, so they're very, very friendly and they're very used to uh, being around humans. This little guy was born a few weeks ago, right before I actually got here. Um, and like I said, it's like uh, my time over here is coming to a close very soon and I'm feeling very, um, really sad about leaving actually. I feel like I just began to scratch the surface of what this whole restaurant is truly about. Um, uh, in case you guys haven't been following the videos, I basically do two weeks at the Meadowood Farm, which is here, and then I do, sorry, I do two days at the Meadowood Farm, which is here, and three days um, in the actual kitchen itself uh, during the morning. And um, I've been prepping uh, a bunch of different things every single day, very meticulous, uh, very particular about everything. And I'm hoping I get to see some of the finished products this next week. Um, and that'll be very, very cool. I'll definitely have some more content. Say hi. Hello, little good friend. Um, as you can tell, I have a very, very nice work environment. Uh, it's been... The weather's been fluctuating, so I've been battling a bit of a cold. And um, thank God for extra socks, right? You you get so used to having socks in your backpack. They've come in... It's come in very handy these past few days. Um, today, I actually kind of wanted to talk about... Uh, my life a little bit, uh, my past a little bit in terms of my professional career in New York. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I was working for a very large restaurant company for about five years uh, and I started off as a junior Sioux and then ended up as an executive Sioux. Um, and it was pretty amazing. I learned a lot. And then coming over here and essentially just being a stagiaire, just being an apprentice means that um, I really don't have any responsibility whatsoever. Uh, my responsibility is to make sure that the task that I am doing, the task that I have been assigned is done to the best of my ability. And that's it. And I was just reflecting on the journey that I've kind of been on the past few years and uh, how it's culminated to this point where I've, where some people could, you know, say that I backtracked, but I don't think I have, it's just, you can't compare the kind of kitchen experience that a three Michelin star restaurant will give you. Um, you know, they, they have their merits, they both do. And I've been exceptionally lucky that I've had that experience with both. And um, you know, I've managed staff of 30 and banquets and offsite catering events and I've done breakfast, lunch, dinner services. I mean, I've done it all, honestly. Um, and now, cleaning peas and, you know, um, slicing vegetables very particularly and um, just doing all these very basic tasks seems, um, I don't know, it's like, there's such beauty in that work also and I miss that. I, I missed getting to experience that when I was younger and I'm just so happy that I get to do it now. And um, I think what's interesting to me is that I also realized like how much I enjoy being a part of bigger picture things. You know, I, I'm so excited to be a part of someone's dining experience where they will never forget it. They'll never forget eating at a restaurant like the Meadowood for the rest of their lives. They'll talk about it for years. And I, in my own little way, may have had a hand in that. And that's something that's very special to me. And that's the reason I became a chef. And uh, yeah, I wanted to share that and get your guys' feedback and uh, let me know what you think. Um, like I said, like I've said before in other videos, make sure you're commenting because I love reading what everyone has to say. Make sure you guys stay tuned in and uh, I'll give you a little 360. Yeah, it's very, it's pretty pretty over here. If you guys have ever been to the city, that's been my home for the past eight years and now it's California for a little while and it's just, I mean, it's night and day. And I think that's very, um, it's indicative of the experience that I'm having at the moment too. So 
thanks again for tuning in guys and i will see you very very soon keep up keep on checking the video for updates keep on checking our blog uh, make sure you're subscribed to chef's roll because that's where all the action is and that's where you get to see me again